This is Andy Puro of Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're in London and I'm joined by Chef Clark. Chef, firstly, how are you? I'm very well, man. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's good to catch up with you once again. Obviously, you make your ring return, your second outing as a professional boxer. How excited are you to get back under those bright lights? Yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm not going to give you the, the thing that everybody says, but yeah, I've been training, I've been preparing for it, and I want to go out there and, um, you know, show what I've been working on and show why people are excited to watch me. How have, you found, how have you found adjusting from the, the, the amateur to professional style? Obviously still early stages in your professional career so far, but how are you finding that? To be honest, um, I, I just think it's boxing. So in my, in my head, it's just you do longer rounds and you just prepare for that. So I'm excited because people are there to watch and um, you get to build a following and stuff. And yeah, just, you know, just make people happy by doing the craft and, and, and perfecting it. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that part of it, yeah. Talk about the man in the opposite corner to you on Saturday night, Chef. What do you know about him and what are you hoping he can help to bring out of you that he wasn't able to see in your pro debut? I mean, it's a tough opponent. Um, he's had much more fights than me. Um, but I think that's what I need to, well, to kind of help me adjust to the, to the pro game. Do you know what I mean? Yep, somebody tough and he's never been stopped before. So, you know, that's, that's another thing. I'm not going out there to stop people. I'm going out there to win. But um, if it comes, it comes. That's what I was going to ask you about. Obviously, a lot's built on knockouts within boxing, especially somebody with the amateur pedigree you have and the expectation of you to have a very successful career. Does it play on your mind heading into fights, you know, trying to get a stoppage win, or is it something you can put towards the back of your mind? No, not for me. Um, I just plan on winning. Um, I'm, I always revert to football because if your team win, it don't matter how they win, they win, right? So that's the main thing for me, and um, just doing it and. Obviously, I'd like to do it looking classy and clean. Chef, I'm sure, I'm sure activity is key for you this year. You want to try and get out as much as possible. What is the plan that Eddie, Matchroom and the rest of the team have kind of laid out for you? I have this thing that I've, <laughs> I've been quoted on saying that talk's cheap. You guys will see, but we will be active. You said you'll be active. Um, you said to me not to bring it up. <laughs> A certain Mr. Jake Paul was mentioned, uh, well not mentioned, but obviously he had his interaction with Eddie out in New York. Just want to get your initial reaction to what you thought when you heard Eddie out of any cruiserweight he could have picked, he mentioned your name. Who's Jake Paul? <laughs> I'm joking. Um, no, that was quite surprising. A lot of people said that and, um, you know, I appreciate that. He, um, I think he shows he's got confidence in me and um, what I can bring to the table. So, you know, I appreciate that. He's done um, good for my... Um, my profile and um, yeah, we we'll just focus on Saturday and then my man can get it after that. Okay, so are you going to enter some negotiations and get Eddie, get Eddie on the phone to MVP? Yeah, let Eddie, let Eddie handle that and I'll handle, handle Saturday. Um, for yourself, you just mentioned the profile from the, whether anything was or wasn't to come for it, from, from it. How key do you think that was just at an early stage of your career? There's so many more people talking about you. You look at Jake's fans, a very different audience to what the general boxing audience is who might have started to look into you. How, what do you make of that? No, as I said, I'm, I'm grateful. And all for those people that have just started following me um, or aware of me, I appreciate the support. Um, and um, I hope you guys are entertained by what you see. Chef, just two other things I want to touch on. Um, somebody you know well, Ben Whitaker, recently announced his deal with Sky. Obviously, you boxed with him on GB. He's teamed up with Sugar Hill. I just want to get your thoughts on Ben doing, sir. No, fair play to Ben, man. And um, I wish him all the best. Um, He's just doing what he does. He's Ben Ben Whitaker, man. Yeah. You guys saw him at the Olympics, and um, you know I, I believe he can he can do well. So it's just for him to show that now. So you got the main event Saturday night, but what's Richards? What are your thoughts? What's your take on it, Chef? What goes down? Um, you know, I think because of the pedigree of Josh, um, I've been through it, and I, you know, we've travelled around the world and fought different styles, um, so he can adjust to that. Um, I think. Josh, um, if Josh boxes like Josh, I think Josh, if Josh um, decides to try and box trade long range, then it'd be a different story. But um, I think the British fans and everybody in general is in for a great fight. Well, Chef, we'll leave that there now. Leave to go and shower and enjoy the rest of your day. Appreciate it. Thank you. Blessings, man. Have a nice evening.